Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this pretty Christmas card. This is my first Christmas card of 2011, so let's get started. First of all, it's going to be an A2 size card. I um, did these little holes with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Cutter B bug. Went all the way around card base and then um, this piece is cut four by five and a quarter and that's going to go right there just for a tone on tone effect. I really like that look. The paper is from a Recollections 8.5 by 11 pack called Jewel. Love those colors. Okay, and then what I have is a sheet that I cut from um, Elegant Edges, and this piece I cut at, oh, let's see, four, this one is cut at four and three quarters, and then I just made this one a little bit bigger on my Gypsy. Now I've already stamped it with the word Gloria. The stamp set I use is called Everlasting Life from Stampin' or from Close to My Heart. And then with my Versamark, I'm going to create this glittery, swirly background with the stamp that I got. It's a stamp set of stitched flourishes that I got uh, quite a few years ago from Oriental Trading. So I'm just going to stamp it really well. I already ran my embossing buddy over it to get rid of the static. See if I can turn it around. It's kind of overlapping. Okay, then what we want to do is take a product called Heat and Stick from Stampin' Up. And what it does is it sticks to the Versamark and then you heat it up and it gets sticky and then your glitter can can adhere to it. It's a really neat product. It's relatively simple to use and not as messy as using the glue. I was using the glue to do this, the scrappy, that really sticky glue, but it's really messy. Okay. So now we want to heat this up, and we don't want to heat it up too much because then it loses its stickiness. I've got a piece of scrap paper to catch my glitter, and this glitter is from Close to My Heart. I think it's called Prismatic or Prismacolor or something like that. Oh man, I've got a fan going and it's it's blowing. <laughs> okay, and so now we want to heat set it. Then this piece goes on top of the yellow piece. And I've already got one foam on that. This. Oh, 
it down in the middle. And then I've already got some dimensionals on my angel, which came from Joys of the Season. Okay, and then I'm going to use some liquid pearls to add some little pearls right here. There's little peaks on there, so I'm going to flick it in the back to kind of level them off. And then there's also a little ribbon right there. And here it is. Just make a little bow. more thumbs today with the ribbon. That's taken me a long time. It doesn't usually take me so long to make a bow. Just trim it, trim it, and that's going to go right there. And then what I did to add this, if you can see it in the video, it has a subtle, I wanted this to look like, you know, pattern paper. So what I did was I used Versamark and this little stamp that I got from Michaels a few years ago and just did that and what else let me show you the stamp set close to my heart everlasting life and it has um, several Bible verses Isaiah 9 6 Proverbs 3 5 Matthew 11 28 and John 3 16 and then peace on earth and Gloria great set I'm so glad I got this from Kathy at Felcats she had a close to my heart party on YouTube and that's what I ordered so it was really cool um, and then of course to adhere that little ribbon down I'm going to use a little tiny homemade glue dot I made these with Aileen's tack it over and over and I just put them on parchment paper that's how I do it and that's going to complete my card today. So thanks for watching. Bye.